And what do you want, handsome huntsman? Hmm, that's interesting. I'd buy some jade pearls from you, and why not a few gourds of Octley alcohol? I'm at your service. Do you want anything else? Hmm, that's interesting. I'm at your service. Do you want anything else? Come back and see me whenever you want. I'm always here for a fine huntsmen like you. There's no turquoise here. This is a district of feather dressers. Stop pestering me with your foolish questions. I've got work to do. I kissed the earth before you. You're not from here. I've never seen you. Have you come here to pray? I was praying to our god, the left-handed hummingbird. I'm called Chimali, which means shield. My parents are both dead of the mysterious illness. They were good people, and I do not understand why the gods have permitted them to go to the place of the dead so early. It is said that the gods are angry with our emperor, Moctezuma. But if men are at the root of so much pain, tell me more, for I will be at your side by the serpent of fire. I hear your words, but if what you say is true, I will kill them. Come back and see me whenever you like, and if you wish, I will help you. There's no turquoise here. This is a district of feather dressers. But perhaps you mean the courtesan called turquoise. In that case, you'll find her at the end of this district. I am. What do you want from me, young hunter? If what you say is true, prove it to me. Bring back a jewel I left in his house. That is not the jewel I meant. <gasps> That's the jewel I left in his house? And if Tlatli were alive, he wouldn't have given it to you. So you are telling the truth. I knew my poet friend was in danger, but he never wanted to tell me why. By our God, the Prince of Flowers, no. No, I, I don't think so. How could it? I've talked to Chamali, and he said I could trust you. 
Tlatli was our emperor's poet, our great speechmaker. He was banished from the court for a reason that seemed unjust to him. I know that he resented it greatly. He left me a poem not very long ago. He told me laughingly that I had to keep it in case anything happened to him, that someone would certainly be able to interpret it. This poem is a puzzle, and I've never understood it. I will give it to you. You will know what to do with it. I also know that he was preparing to leave our city. He must have felt he was in great danger. He had asked one of his friends, a feather dresser by the name of Chacoatl, to accompany him on the journey he was preparing. This feather dresser lives very near here. You will go and see him tomorrow, for the earth has already begun to swallow the sun. Night is falling, and I know that Chacoatl is not there today. You will stay with me tonight, and tomorrow you can go and see him. There are nothing but feather dressers around here. This is their district. But if you're looking for Chakawaddle, it's the house straight on your right, next to the temple that you can see just over there. Yes, he is my master. I cannot disturb him. He's preparing for a long journey. But if your generosity could stretch out to two cocoa beans, you might be able to see him. Go on. My master is in the backyard. Yes, what do you want with me? I I'm busy because I'm preparing a journey with the Lord traveling to the Zacantlan country. I have to go and find one of the rare feathers of Quetzal. I cannot take any orders. I have to leave soon because, as you know, the date, one serpent, is favorable for journeys. Quiet, wretch. Do not pronounce that name here. That slave over there is so greedy that he's ready to sell any scrap of information. about the poet's death. He was one of my friends. He felt he was in danger, but I don't know why. He had decided to leave the city with me. I know nothing more. Are you making fun of me? What connection could there be between his death and the evil? Show me this parchment quickly. So what you say is true. This parchment speaks of the evil that is the scourge of our people. What else do you know? Give me one of those necklaces. I'll make a quick investigation to find out where they come from. This affair is above our heads. You have to go and see the Lord and Prince Tril Patonki, our woman serpent. He will know what to do and what to tell you. Hmm. I might have an idea. The Lord Woman Serpent ordered a shield of feathers from me. I told him that I could not finish it rapidly. Finish the feather shield which is just behind you and take it to Woman Serpent. They should let you through with this gift. It's the only thing I can do for you. 
The shield is almost finished. You just have to go and buy the right dyes in the market of Tlatelolco. I must carry on preparing my journey, but I will help you finish the shield.
You have to go as quickly as possible to the square of Tenochtitlan. From there you can try to enter the palace. There are several ways of entering. Choose the right one. I will be inquiring about the necklace you gave me. I have to leave soon, but do not hesitate to come back and see me. I've been waiting for you. I hid, I listened, I spied, and I've got some news. The nobleman and the poet who were murdered had good reason to resent our emperor. I don't know why they died, but all this conceals something much deeper. We have to search further. I'm going to continue my own investigation. Come and see me if you have anything new. I have to deliver this shield to Woman Serpent. I must go to the square of Tenochtitlan to enter the palace. Please, valiant huntsman, alms for a poor man. Just who do you think you are? Do you have authorization, a paper giving you the right to enter? Entrance to the palace is forbidden. On your way. Please. Oh, I doubt that they'll let you enter. But if you pay me two cocoa beans, I could take you as far as the landing where the taxes from the provinces arrive. Board the ship. You've paid. Come on board.
Here you are, get off now. You, you must be one of the men I requested to help me sort out the taxes. Your presence reassures me I have so much work. That's fine. I have great need of your help. That's to say I have a few difficulties in solving a problem, you see. You have to sort the taxes you see there on the ground next to you. There are jaguar pelts, bales of cotton, and bags of shells. The taxes are to be divided in the following proportions. A quarter for the city of Tlacopan, a quarter for the city of Teshkoko, and a half for our city of Tenochtitlan. No, and that's just the problem. Each jaguar pelt is worth a hundred, each bale of cotton is worth twenty, and each bag of shells is worth one. I'll let you get on with it.
by the 400 serpents of clouds, that's it. So you reach the same conclusion as I do. There's always one bag of shells too many. For your trouble and patience, keep this extra bag of shells as a reward. Hmm, but don't tell anyone. I have to get on with my work. I bid you farewell and good luck. I, I have nothing more to say to you. Go now. Leave me. I've got work to do. Have you heard about the evil that is afflicting our city? Yes, it is a great evil that the gods have sent us. They have already sent so many bad omens. Perhaps the gods want to tell us something. Do you know the priestess Papetzin? How could I not know her? She officiates at the temple of Tezcatlipoca, the temple of the god of the steaming mirror. I am a jaguar knight, and my god is above all, Tezcatlipoca. I hear what you're saying. My objective was to remind you that she has made prophecies, saying that the gods are angry with the greatest of us all. Our great speechmaker, our emperor? You said it yourself. There have been so many prophecies of doom recently. I'll go and check that, for what you say is serious. It's not there that you'll find him. Go and seek him in the courtyard. But I doubt whether he'll grant you an audience. What do you want? The Lord Woman Serpent is extremely busy at the moment. The war against our eternal enemy will soon be mobilizing our troops and the sickness eating away at our ranks could prevent us from finding enough valiant warriors. Who are you to ask me that? Oh, I I'm just a Quikini, a poet, and I cannot help you with what you are trying to do. I am busy composing a new poem. Listen. Sing out the song of joy. O oh, singer, be happy. We are recreating he who gives life. Be happy. He who gives us life envelops us. Adorned with flowers, we dance. The flowers that are left to us. What do you think? I thank you. Leave me now. I had to finish it before the festival of Teotleco, the festival of the return of the gods.
What do you want? He works here, but I cannot let you enter. What is this object? Show it to me. This is a shield of great value. I know he is waiting for this gift. Enter immediately! Who are you? What do you want from me? Speak quickly, I'm in a hurry. Hmm. This shield is magnificent. Here is a bag of amaranth as a thank you gift. Let me work now. What do you mean? What kind of silly tale are you telling me? Quiet. Who are you to give me advice? Guards, arrest this insect. Who are you? Little serpent? My son? So, you have joined us. And yet, you were born on a day of good fortune. And your tonali, your, your destiny was to lead you to greatness. Pray with us to the god of slaves who are about to die. If your destiny is not to die, then let me tell you a secret. In our house, at the feet of Shochi Quetzal, our goddess of flowers, you will find the treasure. I cannot tell you any more. We could be overheard. Go to the goddess Shochi Quetzal and dig at her feet. We are to be sacrificed for the next festival of the return of the gods. On the sacrificial stone, we shall become the people of the eagle, little serpent. It is our destiny to finish this way. But if yours is to live... Look, one of the guards has just moved away. Try to create a diversion and follow your destiny, little serpent.
god of the night wind. So you have succeeded. I know. It was I who slipped the knife into your prison. I am acting at the request of Woman Serpent. If he had you put into prison, it was to protect you. The palace is rife with intrigues, and you come here and babble about a plot. If my lord, a woman serpent, had not acted in that way, you would be dead. I am going to give you an object. It will provide you safe conduct. Present it to the right person, and you will be able to speak to the lord, woman serpent, again. I cannot help you any more. The risk that we might be seen together is too great. Do what you can yourself. No one may pass. Go away. You have no business here. Since you possess this magic rattle, you may enter. So, you have succeeded. I am going to tell you what I know, and you are going to listen to me. I know that the strange evil is growing every day. I know that some accuse our Emperor Moctezuma of having caused the wrath of the gods. I also know that strange prophecies have been pronounced concerning the end of our empire. But the blood-stained parchment you showed me is perhaps proof that the gods are in no way responsible. I also know that the traitors could be anywhere. As to who they are, I cannot say. And so I have decided to make you a proposition. Find the cause of the strange evil, and if you succeed, your life will be spared, and so will the lives of your parents. The magic rattle my scribe gave you. Present it to the god in front of the Between Two Serpents entrance. He will let you through. Then you will have the honor of walking under the divine plane. You will be sacrificed with your parents for the festival of the return of the gods. If I knew that, you would not be here. You have no other choice. Finally, remember, I shall deny ever having seen you. Go now. <laughs> 